basically what uh, we see happening in 2025 is uh, we're seeing the emergence of linear optics. Uh, finally, I think linear optics is going to become a uh, viable choice uh, for um, 8 by 100 and also for 200 gig interfaces. Uh, but this is going to require um, link monitoring in the, in the module, which is uh, something that we have been working on. Um, and we believe that this is the year where people are going to see that these uh, products are going to become viable due to the inclusion of the um, diagnostics that we have included in our chips. So that's uh, going to be the first prediction. And I think this is going to be used for LPO, for NPO, for CPO, for even LRO modules because all of these guys have linear components and uh, you can't have a linear component without knowing what's going on to the link and uh, you know with our products you're going to see that uh, in these modules so that's the first prediction second one um, uh, i'm also seeing trends in uh, where people are starting to replace their retimers uh, pam for retimers with redrivers um, same thing that happened in the photonics you know on copper you have this pam for dsp that adds uh, latency, adds quantization noise, adds um, power and cost and footprint. And people don't want to, um, you know, have extra uh, retimers on their on their boards. So they are looking at uh, redrivers again with diagnostics, with link training uh, to replace those uh, those retimers. And I see that as a trend happening in 2025. And uh, we're going to see more and more, both um, on the compute side as well as the networking side. Uh, and the third one, uh, as we are looking at higher rates, 200 gig and 400 gig, it's becoming clear that uh, you know a very effective deterministic link training algorithm is going to be essential for making these links perform in a robust manner. Uh, without this link training, you basically are re relying everything on the receiver to do all the work, but uh, that's that's going to be very expensive and power hungry. So you need to have a very good link training and train the transmitter uh, to do some of the signal processing to make this uh, these links work. So again, that's something that we're working on, and um, you know, hoping that uh, this will also emerge as one of the trends in 2025. With that, um, I wish you a, a, again a great happy new year and success to everybody.